Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemming Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to change the image in a UI image view. Now in this simulator I have an example of what we'll be creating today. We have four round red buttons, three of them displaying the image and changing each time we select one and the fourth one hiding the image. So when we hit image one, our image is displayed in an image view and we hit image 2, which changes it to our second image, and image 3 changes to our third image, and then finally we can hide the image with our hide image button. So I'll be showing you how to create this today. So already in my project set up, it's a simple view based application for the iPhone, and I've simply named it Change an Image for the purpose of this tutorial. And the first thing you want to do is import our image files. Now, already if you haven't noticed on desktop, I have three image files. Simply highlight them all and drag them into your project. Make sure when you drag them in that you click copy items to the destinations group folder in case you need them later on in your project. So finish that. And then once we're imported, the first thing we need to do then is add a ID outlet for our image view and four ID actions for our round rec buttons. So to do that, if you go into our viewcontroller.h, and I'll zoom in for you now so we can see it a lot easier. And just after the UI view controller, add a curly bracket and press enter. And once you've done that, just before the last curly bracket, we add our IB outlet for our image view. So to do that, we do a capital IB outlet space UI image view space asterisk. And I'll simply name the image view simply image view so it's really easy to understand and once you've done that to add the IB actions just after the last curly bracket there we do dash bracket capital IB action bracket and I'll simply name the round leg button simply show one so that'll be our first button and if you just copy that now and paste it so you have four together just to save a little bit of time now change the second one to show two, show three, and this one will be simply hide. So it's very easy to understand as the action buttons here will show image one, two, and three, and then eventually hide on the fourth button. So once you've done that, you can save it. I'll just zoom out now. The next thing we want to do is go into our viewcontroller.m where we'll add the code for each of our individual buttons. So again, I'll zoom in for you. Just after the implementation, just hit enter a few times. I'm just making a little bit of room so it's easy to see the code as I'm typing it out. And the first thing we want to do then is add in our first IB action button, which we named show one. After that, do a space and a curly bracket and hit enter. And just to save some more time again, we'll just simply copy that. So we have the four together, and I'll just simply create the four buttons there and the final one is hide so okay then, so once we've done that we've got the buttons all set out there we'll add the code now so to start we do UI image space asterisk and we give it a little name of img image there do space equals space bracket and again UI image space image named and we do the at symbol quotation mark quotation mark we'll come back to the name in a minute of the image and just after that we do bracket semicolon press enter and we do bracket image view for our IB outlet then set image for it to set the image which we named IMG and then a red bracket and a semicolon now if we just save that and the reason I'm not putting the naming just yet is so we can copy this little piece of code and paste it in our remaining buttons as it all requires the same piece of code but the only thing different will be the image that it displays. So image one will display our first image and if I just zoom out quickly I've simply named my image files image one.png, image two.png and image three.png. So if I zoom back in so our first one is image one.png our second one will display image2.png. Our third 
image3.png and finally to hide the image we don't want it to display any image at all so by not giving it an image file to display it will make the UI image view completely blank so we can leave that as it is on our hide button and if you want to pause the video now and catch up on any of that coding because that's all that's going to be needed but now we can save that and I'll zoom out and if we go straight into our viewcontroller.xib where we'll add our image view and our four round red buttons so the first thing I'll do is drag in our image view now I'm going to give you a little tip here no matter what the size of an image view if we click on the options of it so we can edit it where we have the view here and the mode I'll just quickly zoom into it if you select the aspect to fit no matter what the size of the image it will scale it to proportion so it's not out of shape and looking crooked one way or slightly long or too wide it will scale it to proportion of the image view so we can save that there and then we're going to drag in our four round red buttons I'll make the design just like we did on the simulator so we need four buttons all together Make the image view slightly smaller, there we go, and take that. So I'll give the buttons each a name, just like I did in the simulator. So show image one, show image two, show image three, and finally hide image. So once now we can save that completely. Now if we click on files owner and go to our connections and we link our IB outlet of our image view all the way over to our image view so simply control click or hold and click and drag it over and we do the same so the, on the action buttons and the first one's hide so simply drag it down. We can do something simple like touch down but if you want to do touch up inside which gives the user the option to hold it down and slide his finger off just in case he doesn't want to tap it. But I'm going to do something simple like touch down so it doesn't really matter, it's up to you how you want to do it. So I'll do the rest for the remaining buttons. So show one to show image one, two to two, and finally three to three. So once we've done that, we can, can save that, go straight to build and run, where we can display our project in the iPhone simulator. Okay then, so now once it's loaded, we have a simple interface with no image being displayed just yet, as you haven't set anything to it in the interface. So as soon as you hit show image one, our first image has shown of DKLM in development. Now if you notice, just because we set it to aspect fit, it's nicely put in proportion, so it's not out of scale. I'm going to show image two. There we go. I'm a Geek Lemon, our second image. And finally, image three. Our Geek Lemon is simply telling you to just don't be a noob. So that's simply how you display and change the images with simple buttons. And finally, we can hide the image, making it display nothing at all, as we set nothing in the quotation marks for it to display. So as soon as we hit that, the image completely disappears and it's displaying absolutely nothing. And we can go through them again, image one, image two, and image three, and change it up so all the buttons work. So that's simply how you change images in a UI image view. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, made sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Make sure you favour and like the video so you have it for future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback and follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below, as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out, and most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe.